what this transition from a small town police department to the sheriff's department uh, patrolling the BS Springs is going to look like? You're not going to notice the difference. Uh, we have deputies patrolling that area right now uh, because of manpower shortage in Abita. We've had deputies working different shifts in Abita for several months now. Will you be working from your headquarters? No, ma'am. My office will be after the first of the year. Well, actually, around the 20th of December, I'll start moving my stuff down to Abita, uh, getting with Chief Nakan, uh, touring the area. She's going to probably introduce me to certain people to get to get to know the people a little bit better, see what's going on, what they what they might need done, what concerns they might have, and then uh, first of the year was supposed to be total take. Has there been much preparatory work for this transition happening right now as we speak? Yes, ma'am. We are uh, we're hiring extra people to work the area. There's going to be equipment that has to be assigned to that area. Uh, we're looking for people who want to work put people in it who actually want to be in that particular area and, and do their work. And Lieutenant, what will your work day look like starting January 1st? Uh, Six o'clock in the morning, I'll be in Covington at shift change, find out what's going on, picking up anything that may have happened in the BD area, the BD area that night, but also through the whole west end of the parish. Uh, by seven o'clock, I should be in a beta. Be there to about 9.30 in the morning, and then I have other obligations to meet through the parish. I'll be going, and then I'll come back probably around 12:30. And from this point forward, people when people dial 911, they'll go straight to the sheriff's department. And what do you anticipate your response time to be starting January 1st to calls that come in to you? Five to ten minutes, because that deputy at work in that area will be stationed in the town limits of Abita. That was part of the uh, the contract. Even before, if you lived in Abita city uh, town limits, and you dial 911. It went to the sheriff's office anyway. There's no change on where the phone call is going to. You're still calling the same agency. What is the policing style with the sheriff's department going to be compared to a small town police department? Do you have any idea what that might look like? Well, remember that a lot of these deputies are from these little small towns. It's it's not, you know, the, we're not bringing the New York Police Department in here. We still feel that the St. Tammany Sheriff's Office has um, a, a a small town feel to it. Also, based on our deputies and where they're from, a lot of grew up here, they're used to that sort of environment. So I don't think you'll see a big change there. And just to give you an idea, one of the guys who put in for it just bought a house in Abita Springs. And he likes it. He's like, yeah, this sounds pretty cool. I might just, I'll put my letter in. I'd, I'd like to do it. Because he just bought, like I said, bought a house in Abita. Uh, some guys work Folsom, some guys work Lacombe. Once again, being that small town area, and they get used to it, and that's what they like. The Beta Springs Police Department has certain assets, such as some new Dodge uh, patrol vehicles that they recently purchased, and just other assets. What happens to those assets now that now that uh, the Sheriff's Office is, is in the Beta Springs? Those will become part of um, all of the various assets that we use in our, in our patrols down there. I don't know that they'll be used exactly the same way. In other words, that, that the Dodge car is going to remain on the street in the, in the, within the city limits of Abita. Maybe, maybe not. But they will sort of become uh, put in the same pod as all the Sheriff's Office assets, and then, and then those will be distributed as they need be. Do you think the community is going to embrace the sheriff's department as they embrace their own police department three, six, 12 months from now? How long do you think it's going to take for the sheriff's department to become the norm in Abita? January 2nd. <laughs> well, you know, I, it's you know true. it sounds funny, but it is true because you got to remember that we're really, we're already there. We've been there for a, quite some time. We've been doing uh, detailed patrols in, in the evenings and that sort of thing. So. A lot of the folks here are accustomed to seeing sheriff's de uh, deputies patrol in the streets of Abita. They're just going to see it during the day now as well. So like the captain was saying, they used to see in the sheriff's office in Abita anyway. And Lieutenant Cardinale, how were you chosen for this new role? I do community relations. I'm kind of a people person. And uh, I've had people tell me I'm pretty easy to sit down and talk to. And I think this is what the sheriff wanted, somebody to go down there and listen to what the people com complaints are, what their concerns are, 
and work with the people.